it looks wild. Like, dude. So, I'm still not at the museum yet, okay? We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Uh, wait. YouTube video now? Yeah. First and foremost, bro, like, if you got to this part of the video, like, I appreciate you for you coming this far. <laughs> hey, I know y'all looked at the timestamp when I said this, and I know it only been like 30 seconds into the video, but damn, bro, like, I really appreciate y'all for just clicking the video. Like, I'm not even finna cap. Like, out of, out of all the videos you could've watched, like, you watching mine right now. Like, and I appreciate that. I just had to let y'all know 30 seconds in. That's it. I ain't, that's all That's all that is to it. And I appreciate y'all again. Now, let's get back to the video. Like, I, I'm definitely trying to take this YouTube shit into a hold. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you on my, my eyes, bro. Cause, uh, like, no cap. Like, so I'm really trying to enhance and put more of my energy into YouTube. And so coming out to these museums and, and seeing what they have to offer, what collections they have uh, uh, for exhibi exhibition right now, is, is kind of like uh, one of the strong suits that is going to go into this YouTube. Now now we just got to the spot. We just got there. We're going to see what's up. And then uh, get get in, get a little jiggy in there. Start talking to people and seeing how, how, what's going on, what they think about some pieces. And, and you know you got throw a little montage in there. So who doesn't like a montage, bro? Who doesn't like a montage? Google research, Venero Botero is a Colombian figurative artist, and he even says that he's the most Colombian of all Colombian artists. He definitely likes figures enlarged and exaggerated in volume. One of his even most famous statues, the torso, is in front of SLS Miami. And if you've been, never been to Brickle, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, where it's just a massive bronze male abs and chest. It's like in the middle of a busy city street, but. So yeah, um, looking at this piece right here, it's like, his style just holds you cause it's so loud. <laughs> Like, so it's like it's kind of it's kind of that is an element a what and i like this but i don't like the story that it tells but who am i to i can't get mad about how the story is told but it looks wild like <laughs> hold on i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to process <laughs> I'm at the process what's on this piece right here, all right? Give me a second, give me a second. Let me just place y'all down right here. Really, I'm just, I'm just shocked. Like, this is where I realized that his style isn't for me. Like, the way that he depicted this story, like I said, like, you can't be mad at the story, but, you know, it's not a story that I'll read. And we'll go into that in a little bit. Just break it down with a little layer by layer because yo, Fernando was on some shit, and here is where I'm just lost. Like, he just loses me here, I'm just completely losing me. This tree, like, why is it the same color as like the boy? Like, why, why, why? It looks like that's a hand or some shit. 
seeing all these dead bodies and seeing that, it's like, damn. And then, is this the same? What? What? Character, her, and her, because she has a baby. And then she has a baby also here. It looks like the, the cops and the, the Pope trying to take her baby because it looks like they were trying to do that right here. But it looks like they get the baby or she runs away here. I don't know if that's her, but it looks like she runs away. But they get another kid, a black baby that don't got nothing to do with it. Why? Why? A black baby had to do with it. It looks like she she minding her business. And she gave her dagger in her hair. Just finished up with the museum tour, and so we're gonna see what's up, what's going on with the YouTube. So I'm posting up and seeing how, how I want to kind of engage into conversations, but it really wasn't anybody in there. Like the only guy was Christian. Shout out to Christian. He took the photos. Got that right there. Boom. But yeah, bro. Like he was not, he was not on the job to talk, boy. <laughs> I can say that much for sure. But yeah, other than that, bro, I appreciate y'all for watching the video so far. Like, I'm glad I was able to finally get to a, a fucking museum. But we're gonna keep going to the museum. So it's not like, and it's gonna be different locations. Maybe in some different states. Like, wink, wink. So we're gonna see what's up. And I definitely wanna kinda highlight uh, what art can even uh, provide financially for you guys. Cause like, art's the one heads to even what's going on in the economy right now. Like, none of these pieces of art, like physical art NFTs are gonna have their, their weight. But physical art is still holding up strong and, and it's a higher hedge to even gold and silver. So like, that might blow your mind, but like, no, no, like no cap. Like this shit, this shit definitely is a, is a, is a, is slept on in, in, the, in the space of wealth. And so I would say definitely appreciate you guys for coming out and like I'm signing off. I uh, appreciate you for, for coming with me on this journey and we're gonna see what's up, like, all right? So tap in and, and fuck with me. <laughs>